Hey, what's good, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Slightly Warped Podcast. I'm Rick, that's Big Show, and we're here with another episode for you. How you doing, Show? I'm good, brother. How about yourself? I can't complain. Um, you could, not nobody would care. Yeah, exactly. Um, right. Typical day, typical week. Um, you know, it, it was hard going back to work after being off a couple of days for the 4th of July, but Eh, somebody's got to do it right <laughs> so we're just going to jump in real quick today i know you guys are dying to hear about these conspiracy theories that we want to talk about but before we do that you know because it's you know our, our science fiction fantasy um ip of choice Star Wars, we we are going to talk about the Acolyte. Um, episode 5, obviously. Episode 6 drops later tonight slash tomorrow. By the time you get this on Thursday, it would have already dropped. But um, my take is simple for episode 5. I was bored. I was very bored. Um... It wasn't as bad as episodes one, two, three, or four, but it didn't go anywhere. Yes, there was a few lines dropped that made you go, oh, oh, okay, but that was it. Episode um, four was good. Was it? It was okay. Episode That was five, the fight. Was that the fight or was episode five the fight? We just had episode five. Okay, so we're talking episode, about episode six. I'm sorry. That's my fault. Episode, episode six, six is the one that I was bored. No, episode six drops tonight. Last week was episode five. The week before that was the fight, episode four. So we have three more episodes instead of two? I thought we only had two. I'm, well, unless I'm tripping. You're going to make me look it up. That's what I'm going to do because I, I, I need the the powers that be at disney to see that's the thing this this show has got us so bored that we've lost an episode or gained an episode one way or the other now, i need to see what's going on with the powers that be at disney no no you're you're right season six was last week so episode seven drops tonight okay okay that 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 sounds about yeah. right because with just two more episodes they're going to have to ramp this up and that's all yeah, I don't doing. see. I don't know how they're going to ramp it up. Uh, if they don't, that's going to be horrible. I mean, I don't know what they're going to do that's going to save it. Okay. It's been like a damn soap opera with Saul. Just tell us the secret. Even though, you know, I was right about Darth Grin. Uh, I'm sorry. Kylo Grin, Darth Smiley, whatever you want to call him. I knew it was Kamir. Um, So I'm pretty sure that those witches didn't die of smoke inhalation in a stone village uh, that shouldn't have caught fire. I think the Jedi murdered them, and that's what Saul feels so bad about. I mean, why yeah, else would yeah. a dude have committed suicide at the very beginning of this show? But you can't why be overwhelmed with grief because of somebody else passed? Right, but why is Darth Smiley even in the storyline then? Because he wasn't there. I've got a theory. Follow me now. I saw following. the scar on his back. Yes. It wasn't straight, which means it wasn't a lightsaber. What if it was a light whip? From? The uh, ball-headed green Jedi. I think she oh. knows a lot more than she's willing to let on. I think she had him as a former apprentice and discarded him. Uh, yeah, you, you're probably right. But let's be honest that 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 force whip was that light whip or whatever you call it. That was that's pretty dope. Yeah, it was. It was. I thought that was pretty cool. I'd like to see although, it in action, you know, although a little disappointed because if I'm not mistaken, the color of her blade was purple, right? Was it? I thought it was green. I could be wrong. I need to check that again. You You might be right. We didn't see. I, I thought it. about. I thought about when I said I was like, "Oh, that's wrong." Mace Windu's the only one supposed to have a purple, purple sword. 
that's what I thought. If if they did make it purple, then I'm gonna call foul on that. But what can you do? Oh, I know what we can do. There's a rumor, and and it's it's strictly rumor. Elon Musk wants to buy Lucasville. Now, although it's rumor, there's a lot of pros and cons to that. Um, for one, he's a big Star Wars fan. I can see that he'd be willing to put his money, and he's got a lot of it, into telling great stories, great Star Wars stories, without any agendas. Do I believe that he would be good for Star Wars or bad for Star Wars? At this current point, I would say that he has to be better for Star Wars. Your opinion, show? Better how? Like, just because he has a bigger bank account? No, no. I mean, let's face it. Disney has, they print their own money as well. But what Right, so what's he going to do that's different? Because he's a fan, he's willing to put the legacy characters back on screen, you know, younger versions of them, adventures that we haven't seen before. He's willing to take us through the stories that we get out of the books, you know, because I still am hurt by what Kathleen Kennedy said a couple of years ago, saying it's hard to make Star Wars movies and TV shows because there's not enough material out there. Really? Really, Kathy? There's thousands, there's thousands of exactly. books. Exactly. I mean, you could look over my shoulder where you probably can't. If it's over there. I, I've got no less than 50 Star Wars books in the first place. So don't give me that. Especially after Dave Filoni's like, oh, hold my beer. I'll give you Thrawn. Right. I mean, if he held true to his word, I think it would be be great for fans. But if or, they keep going down the, the road they're going, it, oh, excuse me, it leans me to almost lump them in the same category as DC. Yes, yes. But Dave Filoni is the saving grace there, and I would like to see. But is he? All he's doing is Mandalorian. And I think he had something to do with the Ahsoka series and maybe the Obi-Wan series. Well, yeah, but he, the, he created all this Ahsoka. newer. Right, but all this newer stuff. I'd be willing to give him a chance because. I know, he, but why aren't he, they? Well, that's what I was going to say. I would hope that uh, Bob Iger would wake up one day and said, Kathy, your contract's up. Get out. The new head of Lucasfilm will be Dave Filoni. That would that would be awesome. I mean, if, if you want to use the word groomed, George Lucas basically groomed him to take over Star Wars. I, I, and I digress. Explain. Explain that. Before Lucas sold... Uh, Star Wars to Lucasfilm to Disney. He took Dave Filoni under his wing and they talked about anything and everything Star Wars for years. They created the Clone Wars cartoon together. They created the character of Ahsoka. They, he's picked George's brain on several things and it showed, especially in the early stages of the Clone Wars, he didn't want to just make a story and it not be connected somehow. So he would always make sure that he knew what came before it so that he wouldn't make any mistakes that you see today in Star Wars where people are just popping up and they're like, well, that character wasn't born yet. Why is he there? You know, he was kind of like uh, the Jedi Master Mundi or whatever. Yes. Yes. Dave Filoni respects the source material. I mean, I didn't he, know he came up with Ahsoka. Yes, he created Ahsoka, and he created her in such a way that he knew people wouldn't like her at the beginning, and it was brilliant because you grew with her. As she got older, she changed, and people started to like her, and that's what makes her so lovable now. If, if he had just came out with her the way she is now, I think it wouldn't be the same, but because she's had a chance to grow, and we've seen her grow, because, you know, when the Clone Wars cartoon first came out, she would have been, what, uh, 14 years old? You know, all the way up to now, she's in her 30s uh, as a Jedi, late 30s, I believe. 
long ways away. And and it knowing what she did when she was younger from the beginning of the Clone Wars all the way until the very last episode and how she changed and how she ended up leaving the Jedi Order and the things that she had to go through. That's one of the things that's made her popular because people can identify with her. I mean, plus just the fact that her master was Anakin gives yes. her a lot of clout. A whole lot of clout. And I don't know if you've seen the... Um, it's three cartoon series. It's actually six, but um, it's called Tales of the Jedi. It's hard for me to watch cartoons, man. I know it is, but you'll want to watch them. You do not have to watch all six episodes. Watch the three with Ahsoka. It's um, three with Ahsoka and three with Count Dooku. And the three with him shows his fall from grace. And hers shows her rise. And the 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 first one you could even do without it just shows her as a baby getting her force abilities jedi coming to get her the second one is where you want to pick it up because it shows anakin how ruthless he was training her he would take her in a room full of clones all right boys set your weapons this done ready aim fire at her and she would just like block 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 until they hit her Stunned her. She wakes up. He's like, again, block, block, block. Stunned her. She's knocked out. She wakes up. How long was that? A couple hours. Again. And you know, Rex is having a good time just laughing it off. Like, hey, right. we're just doing what General Skywalker says. But he forced her to get so good that she didn't eventually didn't even need her lightsaber. You know, and we've seen that with Darth Vader in the Obi-Wan Kenobi show. You don't necessarily need it, even if somebody has one. When you get to the third episode, she's fighting an Inquisitor. She doesn't have her saber, but she beats the hell out of him with his. It's a, you know, I highly recommend that. Tales, Tales of the Jedi, the two Ahsoka yeah, but, uh, episodes. But you highly recommended X-Men 97. And I, I haven't got past the first episode. <gasps> what? We, we got to work on that big show. We got to work. And yes, I just looked it up. That force whip is purple. Okay, then I do have an issue with that. Um, I wished I didn't. But then again, if they take her down a dark path, that will redeem the purple. Because technically, your color of your lightsaber has a lot to do with who you are as a Jedi. Mace could tap into the dark side. He didn't go over to the dark side, but he could tap into it. So. But that would make him a gray Jedi. No, no. He only used it in combat situations. He had his own, he had his own fighting style. He's the only one that ever fought that way. Yes. He never taught it to anybody else. And that, that's because it, 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 it walks that line. So I don't know. Um, Man, if I had to score the show right now, you know, letter grade. Right now, it's a C minus. That grade will pass you, but it doesn't mean you learned anything. I mean, two episodes ago, I was ready to give it, you know, a C plus, but the last episode brung it back down. They really got to show me some things these last two episodes and I don't mean have another boring episode and then come out swinging in the final episode. That's too little too late. That's just you trying to save grace. Um, it starts now. So tonight, late tonight, sometime tomorrow, whenever I sit down and watch it, I expect there to be action. I expect Saul to finally tell us what the hell is going on. Don't wait until the last episode. We ain't got time for that. This is not a soap opera. Don't just keep stringing it along for six, seven episodes. Just say it already. And, you know, let my theories come out true. Well, you had said, you had said letter grade. So if I was a teacher and Acolyte was my student, I would be calling the parents and they'd be going to summer school. 
That's yes. how I feel. That's how I feel about the show. Uh, I don't think there's anything that they can actually do that will redeem it. You know, it might tidy it up and make it a little, you know, a little bit less bitter pill to swallow. The only way in my mind that they are able to redeem the show mm -hmm. is to give us a jaw, a jaw dropping moment, kind of like when Luke showed up in season two of Mandalorian. Yes. If they do something that we just go, holy hell, you know, like Yoda show up, which I know he's not supposed to, or even just something of that nature, um, then it it might give me enough oomph to pass the kid and go on to the next grade. But right now, he needs a tutor. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. Um let us know what you think about the Acolyte. Leave us a comment. Any questions that you might have, leave them on the uh, podcast feed of your choice. If you're watching on YouTube, you can leave them in the comments there. Or you can just write us at the Slightly Warped Podcast at yahoo.com. Big Show, I want to yes. talk to you about conspiracy theories. You know, all that good stuff. Hey, the earth is flat and all that. I'm going to go through yeah. nine of these theories. And I just want your thoughts on each one because I kind of think it's funny. Okay. Um, some of them. Um, so we're just going to go through these. And um, I'm going to start with this one. This one's kind of kind of hits hard. This is a myth about the Holocaust. Uh, between 1941 and 45, 6 million Jews were killed across Europe in a horrific genocide uh, led by Nazi dictator Adolf Hitler. Despite the fact that the Holocaust is one of the best documented events in history, there are swaths of population, uh, swaths of the population that don't believe it happened. What in the hell? I mean, it, that's well documented. I've seen photos. How could people not believe that it happened? I've actually went to the traveling Holocaust museum that traveled to it. I think it was at Union Station a couple years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, it happened. It just boggles my mind that people, and, and I know it's that mentality, if I didn't see it, it didn't happen. Um, that's one where I just can't get with it, bro, because you're not, you're not meant to be there to witness everything. Some things you have to take at face value. Uh, you can't see gravity, so, but I guarantee you if I throw some money in the air, it's going to fall down. So like who, like what's their, what's their basis of not believing it just because they weren't there? Um, it just says poor education on the subject may be one explanation for this. Um, respondents under the age of 65 were more likely to say that they didn't believe it happened. Uh, as the history books say it did. Um, that's just, over the years, it hasn't been taught enough in schools, or they just gloss over it. Hey, you know, several Jews were hurt or killed, and then they hear later on that millions were destroyed. They're like, nah, that's not what I heard, you know, that kind of thing. So it's more like you're in denial. I'm reading it on, uh, I pulled it up here so I can read along with you. I, I think those people, it'd be kind of like saying that the Titanic didn't sink. Right. You know, you know there are survivors of this particular uh, incident, mm -hmm. you know, time of, you know, history that that would also be like saying, hey, <laughs> I wasn't there. Slavery didn't exist. I don't care how much, how much, uh, you know, information you can give me, you know, slaves, slaves didn't exist. Exactly. It's kind of on the same prospect. Those, those people that believe that are, are just stupid. What is the term that they use now for uh, trying to erase something out of history? To Cancel to culture? It, yeah, to sweep it under the rug. You know, if we take down this Confederate flag, no, never happened. 
Mm. I think, yeah, I'm, I love history. It's one of my favorite subjects. Um, and, and a couple of my kids, you know, they fell in love with history too. So you know, I'm always into that type of stuff. So I love going to museums. Uh, you know, you put me in a museum, I'm there for three or four or five hours because I'm reading every single thing that's there. Uh, but after visiting that Holocaust um, traveling museum and being explained, like you get herded through it like you are one of the detainees. You mm. get herded through this little bobbed wire area. You get herded into the area where the showers were, where they thought the showers were, but they ended up, they dropped, you know, the, the poison through the shower stalls and everybody, you know, died because they're breathing the bad, the poison gas. Mm. You know, you, you're in this type of area. So you could see how once you're stuck, you know, you, you don't, you know, you're not going to die because you're in a museum, but you kind of feel the, man if i was here i'd be screwed type of thing you know um yeah those people are dumb it gets worse uh number two the cia had a, a hand in jfk's assassination why oh why do people believe that um it was lee harvey Just, oswald true but you know it's okay so I'm gonna I'm gonna rewind this and play devil's advocate. I'm not mm -hmm. saying that CIA has anything to do with it, but is it more plausible than the Holocaust not being real? Yes. 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 Okay. Um, you know, is P. Diddy the top of the food chain? <laughs> was R. Kelly top of the food chain? No. Was Harvey Epstein top of the food chain? Exactly. So just because Lee Harvey Oswald was the one that got convicted of it doesn't mean that there wasn't somebody he wasn't just the puppet you're right every organization um, has to have its fall guy you know i i'm not saying that it, it's true but it's more it's plausible yeah, i can see where your 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 logic is is um and because of that when i get to this third one here that one becomes even more plausible I'll just go ahead and say it. Number three, the moon landing was faked. How is that plausible? Well, I believe that it happened. But a lot of the debunkers believe that this was something that was made in a Hollywood studio or something like that, filmed in the desert. You, the The picture quality was so poor that you can't tell the difference. You wouldn't know all that. Um, it was 1969. They didn't have high I, definition pictures. I know, <laughs> but but see, that's what they're saying now, because they didn't have good quality cameras. You wouldn't know that it was a fake. People would fall for it if it was okay. a fake. But I don't believe it was a Let, fake. Let's say let's say that it was a fake. Okay, mm -hmm. what was the point? Well, we were trying to beat the Soviet Union to the moon. Okay, so what was the point? The, uh, bragging rights, that's all it was. Because uh, both people, both 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 countries have been to the moon. Yeah. You know, I don't think it was fake. I, I think I don't think it was either. I think we're in the time of conspiracy theories, you know. Mm -hmm. I bet you I could do enough research and study and come up with a whole website and I could convince a lot of people that the sky really isn't blue. Really? I'm sure. In this day and age, I'm sure that there's, I, I could dupe a lot of people and even tell them the water's not really wet. And people would believe it. Well, there's that saying, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. This is true. I, You know, to me... I don't understand the reasoning behind believing that it was fake. Like there was nothing for NASA or USA to gain by faking it. I mean, other than saying, to and Russia, then when we, we beat you, but who cares? I mean, in the grand scheme of things, so well, yeah, you know I what I mean. You. 
it, it didn't matter whether we got there first or they got there first. So the real thing is let's compare the 69 moon landing to the next U.S. team that went up and landed on the moon. Or are they saying that all moon uh, is fake? All moon landings were fake. I mean... I mean, I, don't know. I, I, think, I, I think that a lot of also a lot of the detractors are only detracting because I don't want to say it's in vogue, but uh, it gets them attention. Yeah, exactly. Like I said, if I came up with a website and I could convince 50,000 people that the sky really isn't blue. I would have a lot. I would be like number nine on Yahoo here. I mean, I'm saying I'd be. That'd be a big deal. I might be able to buy Disney and change Star Wars lineage. Oh, uh, hey, more power to you. You can do that. <laughs> At least I would know for a fact that Star Wars would be in good hands. Yeah, we'd definitely be going back to the old Republic. Some Darth right. Bane, some Darth Raven. That's what people want to see. Darth Malgus. Anyway, we we I just digress. <laughs> Number four on this list, Princess Diana's death was no accident. Now, plausible. I'm pretty sure that was an accident. Plausible. I mean, yeah, anything is plausible, but um, it's 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 the same plausible in this particular thing as Epstein didn't hang himself. Hmm. I can see that. I can see that. These are... Because if I'm not mistaken, wasn't she supposedly pregnant by somebody else other than Prince Charles? I've not heard that before. Now, oh, whether well, she they was already, or not... They were already he, divorced... Do you think that somebody wanted to get rid of her so bad that they had this plan? I mean, couldn't you have, couldn't you say the same thing about Malcolm X or Martin Luther King? Yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, very, even with JFK, I mean, very high prominent person. Mm -hmm. maybe knows a little too much maybe she knew something um, you know about the royal family they didn't want out and maybe that's why her and Prince Charles got divorced in the first place and there you go either that or they got divorced in the first place because he was an idiot but I digress uh, at the halfway I mean, he point here he definitely outkicked his coverage when he married her because he was he's ugly. Right. <laughs> um at the halfway point here, 911 was an inside job. That uh uh. I cannot believe that. I don't know if it's something inside me that's just a little too patriotic, but I cannot believe that it was an inside job and we allowed that to happen. Um I don't necessarily agree with the inside job verbiage. I do believe that we should take a lot of the uh, responsibility for it happening. I would agree with that like, because there are things it's that like we, we could have done. It's like we didn't. It's not like that we didn't know that this plan was in progress. Uh, I mean, because they tried to do it in '93. When they uh, did the bombing there in the basement, um, and it didn't fall, I, 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 I'm with you. I think maybe my patriotism is outweighing it and saying that uh, it's not. But we do take. I do think we should take responsibility for uh, yeah. for it even happening. You know, I mean. Hell, when uh, Clinton was in office, he had the green light. I mean, he had his guys there with the sniper right on bin Laden, but told him no because there were women and children around, so they yeah. wouldn't drop the bomb. 
you know, but yeah, I don't, I don't think so. This next one, number six, takes it up a whole, another level. Um, and I'll tell you why in a second. Mass shootings like Sandy Hook were false flags. Uh, to be more in depth, it says that they were completely fake and the slain children were hired actors. Okay. Now you're talking about people who lost their lives. You talk about friends, family members who had to say goodbye to them. There was a little bit too much of that to have hired actors in play on that. And that's, to me, that's just downright disgusting. That's more than a conspiracy theory. That's just being disgusting. And very disrespectful of the, of the people that lost their lives. Yes. Um, this isn't the first time I've heard, heard that. And there's another website that actually shows a few people in the crowd that look very similar, mm -hmm. um, that say they were hired to be at these places to be what they call them crisis actors or whatever. Mm. Um, but I think I, you know, obviously there's documented proof that these children were killed. So, yeah. Uh, number seven, this one. Top Democrats are behind child sex ring. I can see that. I don't think it's just time Democrats. On this list, I can see that. I don't think it's just the Democrats. Right? Exactly. Well, let's let's not just throw it to one party. Yeah. Um, I, I, yeah, I think this is more than a, you know, um, what what do we call it? Conspiracy theory. Somebody's somebody then stepped onto something here. And yeah, out of opened up. Out of all those so far, that's the most plausible. Absolutely, absolutely. And and you are absolutely right. It goes beyond the Democrats. So don't get it twisted. It's not one party. It's one kind of person. Yeah. Now, when we get to number eight. This is the one that I just laugh at. The earth is actually flat. So how come nobody's drove off yet? I mean, you know, we live in an era of cars, trains, planes, but no one's fell off the face of the earth yet. That we know of. That we know of, yeah. I mean, maybe the Bermuda Triangle is, is the end of the world on that side. You know, because people disappear there all the time. Hey. We don't know where Amelia Earhart is. Maybe that's where she went. She fell off the earth. What's the dude that we did? D.B. Cooper. Maybe he was trying to land on the edge and they kept going. He's still falling. Yeah, so Cooper, Earhart, they're falling. This one makes me laugh just because this can be proven scientifically in so many ways. Yes. That the earth is kind of flat. Um, I mean, just a simple uh, shadow that you see on the moon. I know I've said this before, but if mm -hmm. it was flat, we would have a rectangle on the moon at one point during its phase. It's never, it's always curved. Uh, it's either covered or curved. And yeah, I mean. There, you know, you can you could do that with a globe and a flashlight and get the same result. So, Unfortunately, um, it is very, very. I don't want to say in vogue. I'm going to go back to that word, but you hear a lot of people now that try to go back to that. And I don't, I, I think that they are really just attention seekers. They, 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 they want to have their 15 minutes of fame. So I'm going to take my 15 minutes and say y'all wrong. Um, I mean, they, uh, trying to find, this air, this, this jet, I think it's an X, an X-15. But it is, if you, if you look it up mm -hmm. um, and see the video, it's the only airplane, it's, it's, it's. Are you talking about that one that can go really high? 
Yeah, it goes the highest, and but it's so high that it's almost in space, but not much. But it's high enough to where you can see the curvature of the Earth. Yes, from okay. the highest altitude. I know. And they is. have pictures. They have pictures of showing that. So, I mean, there's like I said, there's a bunch of scientific proof that the Earth is not flat. Yeah. So, kids, if you learn anything from the Slightly Worth podcast, the Earth is not flat. And this one. So and if fact, you believe that it is, you need to go, you need to, you need to hire a tutor. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the last one here, before we get out of here, COVID-19 was used as population control. This one is sad, but I believe that I can see that. Um, I mean, it's plausible. I mean, it's plausible. The The problem with that is the virus hit too many people from too many different backgrounds, rich, poor, young, old. Um, and the majority of the people that it took away from us were older, not all of them, but the majority. So if you're talking population control, wouldn't you start with the younger ones that can reproduce later on down the line instead of the older ones that can no longer reproduce no because you want the younger ones to you don't want to kill the population altogether you oh no to, i'm not talking about the whole kind of like right but it's kind of like you know weeding out the herd you know the well, oldest is going to die first okay I see yeah what you're you saying. know it's kind of type of thing you're not going to go after the young ones uh but to me if that would only be true, and I would say yes, if it only happened in America, this was a worldwide pandemic, killed mm -hmm. millions of people around the world, not just here. So I highly doubt that it was a population control method. And there you have it, kids. That's our take on these nine. Uh, now I don't want to say myths, conspiracy theory. We'll just use that word again. And that's all they are is theories. I don't believe in any of them. Show doesn't either. Some of them have are more pl plausible, but that's it. Let us know what you think. Be sure and leave us a comment. Uh, before we get out of here, show, you want to take us on our journey home? Yes, sir. Uh, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Hit that little bell so when my man posts a video, you know that it has been done. Uh, he's going to shoot the uh, address, the email address on the bottom of the video. Mm -hmm. uh, we do take donations. Um, you know, uh, my kids need a new pair of shoes. Um, I need a new pair of shoes. And, <laughs> and then, uh, obviously, you know, don't uh, don't forget to hug your loved ones because tomorrow's not promised. And good Lord willing, we'll see you next week. Good night, everybody.